there, my all the new friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Happy Smiles. My name is Natalia, I'm a registered dental hygienist, and I'm beyond grateful that you are all here with me today. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about toothbrushes, electric versus manual, which one to choose and why. So stay tuned with me, guys. There are so many different juice brushes in the market right now. You um, probably they're confused um, which one to choose and uh, which one is better for you and your teeth. So let's just dive in and um, talk about which one is better and why, and what are the pros and cons for both electric and your manual brush. Alright guys, so let's talk about the benefits of the manual toothbrush. I have a couple here varieties I can show you and that's actually the first of the benefits. It's a variety. You can literally uh, get any size, any color, any design you want. They come in plentiful options for you. Uh, when you are choosing a brush, make sure you are choosing a right size hat for your mouse. Some of them are a little bit smaller, some of them are a little bit larger. So let's just make sure that you are choosing the right one for your mouse. Also, they're great for kids. It's, um, again, they can be like a Spider-Man, those little mermaid uh, brushes. So your child will definitely enjoy a variety of designs of these brushes. Uh, second benefit of the manual toothbrush uh, would be uh, how inexpensive it is. So you can, generally speaking, you can get a um, manual toothbrush anywhere from two to ten dollars. So it's very inexpensive, and uh, also you can get it at any store, any drugstore, any grocery shop uh, store, online. So yeah, gas station market. So you can get this guy anywhere, literally, um, as you wish. And also good things about manual brush, majority of the dental offices will provide a complimentary uh, manual brush after your professional dental cleaning. So next time you uh, have your teeth cleaned by a hygienist, make sure to ask for one. And also uh, benefit of this brush is no battery required. So it's very easy uh, to travel with. You can keep it in your backpack, you can keep it in your purse, you can um, go for a road trip with this brush, and you don't have to worry about uh, batteries because it's just a manual brush. So, easy to find, inexpensive, no battery needed. Well, let's talk about drawbacks or the negative sides of this brush. There are a couple. Uh, I think the biggest one that I uh, been seeing with my patients is just a lack of knowledge how to use it properly. In my previous video, I was talking about proper brushing techniques. So if you haven't seen this video yet, make sure to um, look underneath and find that video, how to brush correctly. Um, when we hold this brush, it's very important to hold it 45 degree angle towards the gum. Um, just to have a maximum effect of um, cleaning is of your teeth, between your teeth, your gums. Um, and uh, with the manual, it's very hard to do. A lot of people just hold it um, towards the um, teeth and just go like circle emotions, which is uh, not the proper technique. And you don't have any feedback versus electric one. Electric will kind of will let you know that, oh, oh, that's the wrong one. But we'll talk about electric brush in a couple of minutes. Um, so that's mostly um, the biggest uh, negative effect of this brush. And also the pressure. A lot of people are holding it super tight and pressing on your teeth very, very, very hard. And over time, this kind of aggressive, ag aggressive brushing can cause recession and uh, just the sensitivity overall. So make sure if you uh, prefer to use a manual brush, make sure that you use it very gently. Just hold it maybe with like you know, a couple of fingers and very gently um, brush your teeth 45 degree angle. There we go. All 
right, my, my friends. So how about electric toothbrush? I have this one to show you. It's called Burst Brush. It's actually my favorite at the moment. Um, so let's just talk about, not specifically about this brush, but all brushes, electric brush in general. Uh, there are many benefits of using electric brush versus manual, and I will show you and tell you why. So, first of all, uh, it's uh, less work for some people. And by some people, I mean elderly people. Um, as we get older, our dexterity not getting um, get a little bit worse. So uh, I notice that a lot of older people prefer to use an electric brush because it's easy for them to hold. Uh, it's easy on their hands, it's easy on their fingers. So it's just much more easier for some people to use. Uh, second benefit is a great brush for children. It's super fun for kids. Um, like a manual brush, electric brush uh, comes in many different varieties, colors, shapes, and sizes. And for children, uh, this brush is generally a little bit smaller, with a little bit smaller head, but you can also uh, get an appropriate head for your child's age. They are um, changing over time and your child get, a, get it um, bigger. So make sure that you choose a correct one, uh, correct size for your child. And it's super fun for kids. It's easier for them to use as well as the older people. Um, it's fun. It makes some noise and music. Some brushes can even talk back, uh, back at you. Some of them make some silly, funny noises. So kids really respond very well um, to use electric brush versus manual one. Uh, let's see, another one, another benefit would be a timer. Um, we recommend American Dental Association as well as dentists and hygienists, we recommend to brush for at least for two minutes. Um, electric brushes, they, pretty much all of them have a timer set up for two minutes, so you will never will be short on your brushing versus manual. Manual doesn't have it, so you have to either time yourself on the clock or put I don't know, thinking song in your head, something just to uh, make sure that you are brushing your teeth for two minutes. And also electric brush uh, vibrates and makes a special sounds every 30 seconds. So you have 30 seconds for each quadrant. We have four quadrants in our mouse and for each of the quadrants we have 30 seconds to brush. So you know exactly uh, when you need to change the different quadrant. So that's one also another benefit of the electric brush. Um, another uh, great benefit of this beautiful baby is a um, pressure sensor. Personally, uh, I uh, tend to hold my brush very, very um, strong, like a death grip. And when I do so, the brush is vibrating back at me saying like, oh, slow down, that's too much, too hard. So I know um, it's easier for me to know um, when to don't apply that much pressure. So most of them have this pressure sensor. So you know um, that you are not overdoing it and you're not pressing too hard on your teeth and gums. Uh, also electric brushes, uh, most of them, uh, have a different modes, sensor modes. So they have a massage uh, for, the, for sensitive teeth, extra clean, even wiping mode. And it depends on which mode you choose, the bristles will vibrate slightly differently, with different frequency, and you will achieve maximum results. So for sensitive teeth, sensitive mode will be very gentle on your enamel, so you don't going to hurt yourself. That's another benefit of this. Uh, and I think um, another one also, um, a lot of brushes, not all of them, but I know Oral-B and Sonicare, they're wonderful brushes. Uh, they have a Bluetooth connected technology. So you can Bluetooth it to your tablet, to your phone, iPad, whatever you have. And it will be a great tool. It's like I have a personal hygienist in your little device telling you how wonderful job you're doing. 
so you know that you are brushing correctly you know that you are brushing correct time that all this um, your brushing will glue to it to your device and will let uh, you know how well you're doing it and i think the biggest 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 benefit of electric brush versus manual is um plug removed so electric brush vibrates super super strong um, some brushes can go like oral b can go to forty eight thousand a minute First, I believe, is 33,000 a minute. So it's like no way you can take your manual brush and in one minute move it for 48 or oh, 33,000. I mean, that's like it's humanly impossible unless you're like a human, superhuman or something. I don't know. But honestly, the majority of us cannot do that. So that's um, it, this is the biggest benefits of the uh, electric brush versus manual. How uh, fast it's vibrating which just means removing plaque from all your teeth gum line um, that manual can and I think this is the biggest 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 reason why I would recommend to use electric versus manual because of the um, pressure or because of the power how powerful this guy is compared to the manual one so those one um, prongs of the electric brush. And what about drawbacks or downsizes of electric? Not really much, except one, the price. So definitely this guy will be more investment for you and your wallet than a manual brush. Manual usually it's between two and $10. Electric brush uh, can go up to $200. So, I mean, it's a big range from, I've seen probably the cheapest one you can buy, maybe like around 40, 50, and then um, it's going higher. It depends on the model, it depends on uh, functions um, that you can uh, choose from. And also another um, drawback of this brush, it's a battery and charging the battery. It was many times when I went for a um, couple days like um, trips or vacations and I forgot to bring my charger and this um, so a lot of them hold the battery for probably a couple of weeks up to months but you obviously have to recharge it you have to remember to bring your charger with you or charge your brush ahead, uh, toothbrush ahead of the time and it also could be inconvenient when you travel internationally you have to uh, make sure that you have an adapter so you can brush your like you can uh, charge your electric brush um, any place any country you go in the world i think that's pretty much those two big uh drawbacks of the electric versus manual all right my dear friends i hope this video was very beneficial for you and you gained some knowledge about electric brush versus manual uh, regardless which brush you will choose just make sure that you brush your teeth uh, twice a day for two minutes using 45 degree angle towards the gum. Again, thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm beyond grateful for all of you. Um, thank you so much for all your likes and subscribes. Please continue to do so. Share my video uh, with your friends and family members. Spread the uh, tease knowledge to all the community around you. Uh, ask me any questions in the uh, comments below. What kind of videos would you like to see next? And I will see you next time. Thank you guys. Keep smiling.